the admin from techbro.com, and this video is another HTC HD2 um, Android NAND um, flashing video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the Cyanogen um, ROM and how to fix the Wi Fi problem it has after installing. Most people have been having problems with the Wi Fi, and um, there's an easy fix for it. Um, there's a lot of posts on the XDA Developers Forum on how to fix it. Uh, it doesn't work for a lot of people or they don't know how to fix it. So I'm going to show you how. Anyways, I'm going to show you the ROM. Um, it looks a lot nicer than the original Desire build. As you can see, um, the unlock screen is a bit different along with um, you know, the application screen and the drop down and everything like that. Um, the problem that you may be having with the Wi-Fi I'm going to show you right now. If you go over to settings and you were to go to your wireless settings and go on Wi Fi, it'd probably say that there was an error when connecting. I'm going to disconnect from my Wi Fi really quick. Um, and so, what I'm going to show you what to do first is how to flash the ROM. After that, I'm going to show you how to fix the Wi Fi problem. So I'm going to switch to my computer view, and then we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to flash the ROM, and we'll move on. All right, we are on my desktop view, and um, what I'm going to show you uh, how to do is install this um, Cyanogen um, custom Android ROM to your phone. Now, if this is your first time flashing a ROM to your phone, I would suggest watching my first video. Um, there will be an annotation and link in the description. Um, if you want to click on the annotation to watch the video, it teaches you what to do before you flash the ROM so you don't mess up your phone. Um, you have to install MagLoader and uh, do everything like that. If you have MagLoader installed or you have your custom um, NEND ROM already installed um, in a, a different version, then uh, what you can do now is download the Cyanogen ROM, which is link will be in the description if you don't have it. And once you download it, you'll get this uh, zip file right here. So when you, after you get that, just right click on it and extract here. Just click on um, extract the files, extract them, extract them to wherever you uh, you'd like, and you'll get this folder on your desktop. And right here, if you open it up, you have these files. Now. If, like I said, if you haven't installed a um, NAND ROM before, please watch my first video so you don't damage anything on your phone. And then after you have uh, completed the first video, come back to this one, and I'll teach you how to uh, install it. So, anyways, if you um, want to install the Cyanogen ROM and you already have a ROM installed or you already have MagLoader installed, um, what you're going to have to do is turn off your phone. Um, turn on your phone while holding the power button so it boots up into MagLoader and you're gonna have to uh, use a volume rocker key scroll down to the USB flasher and you're gonna have to press the uh, green uh, button the send button to confirm it and it will and connect your phone um, to the computer and once it's connected to the computer um, it will you'll be able to flash it so after you have your HTC HD2 successfully connected to your computer using the mag loader, um, you're going to have to open up this folder right here, the Cyanogen um, folder that you extracted. And um, in here, you're going to have to click on um, Android install. So after you click on that, it's going to open up this page. Dark Forces team, um, just click next um, if you want to read the information about it and then just click next and if your um, HTC HD2 is connected to the computer it will look for the USB connection mine um, mine isn't connected right now since I have already installed it but what it will do is it will find the USB connection and then on your HTC HD2 it will ask you if you want to save your data or if you want to uh, clear your data and what I would recommend you doing is just clearing it because um, I've had problems where if I save the data, it, w it wouldn't boot up into the Android. It would just sit there and keep uh, trying to load. It won't get past the logo. So I just clear the data, and it works fine. So um, after you have installed the custom ROM, you're going to have a problem with the Wi-Fi, most likely. If you have a problem with the Wi-Fi, I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do to fix it. First thing you're going to need to do is download the hotfix which the link will be in the description if you don't have it um, and if you open up hotfix you'll see that there's a folder in here with three files so I'm going to show you how to uh, get that onto your root directory of your phone um, that's the problem I had 
is I didn't know how to get it onto the root directory. So I'm going to show you an app you can download as long as you have um, data connection with T-Mobile. I mean, your internet might be a little slow. As long, well, if you have 3G, it should be fine. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you what you need to um, install, and I'm going to show you how to get the files onto your phone. But first thing you're going to need to do is have um, hotfix the hotfix files installed on your phone. So what you're going to need to do is right-click on the hotfix and click on extract here and then you're gonna have this hotfix folder and if you open it up it has these three files now um, I'm going to open up my cell phone um, my SD card alright um, as you can see I have uh, my device pulled up I'm gonna view the files so this is all the files I have in here and um, what you're going to need to do is take this hotfix file and just drag it in here. Um, I already have it. I'm just going to click yes. So, um, copy and replace. I already have the file in there, so that's why that popped up. Um, after that, you're going to have the hotfix folder in the root directory of your um, SD card. So just drag it right into your SD card in the root, and um, you'll have the three files in there. So now I'm going to switch back over to my device view and I'm going to show you um, the application you need to download and I'm going to show you how um, to get the hotfix files onto the root of your phone. So I'm going to switch over to the device view and we're going to um, continue. I'm back on my device view. Now um, as you can see, um, like I showed, just showed you on my desktop view, we have um, put the hotfix files uh, the folder onto the SD card so that you can fix the Wi-Fi problem so if you go over to your settings if you uh, go over to wireless networks as you can probably on your phone it will say turn on Wi-Fi if you try to turn it on it will say error where it says turn on Wi-Fi so the fix for that is you, those um, hotfix files that we put on the SD card is going to need to go on the system route so in order to do that you're going to need to download this application right here, and it is, um, let's see, let me find it. Alright, it's down here. It's called Super Manager. If you go into the uh, Android market, and you click on, super, uh, you type in Super Manager, and you install it, um, you have to install that using your regular internet connection. And then once that has installed, you're going to have to open it up. So I'm going to go into my Super Manager. And then once you have that installed, you'll see that um, it brings up this home screen. And you're going to have to click on File Explorer. Click on the little icon. And uh, right here, it will have um, all the files. What you're going to have to do is click on this little icon down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's the second icon, the one with the little heart and the uh, folder. Click on that. And then after that opens up, click on Root Path. So when you open up the root path, you'll see here that you have all uh, these files. What you're going to need to put it in is the system. Um, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. What? My bad. System. Um, lib. Where it says lib right there. And as you can see, the files will go in go in here. So what I'm going to show you how to do is put it into that folder. So you're going to have to click on that second icon again and go into the SD card. So when you're in the SD card, you're going to find the hotfix folder. See, I have it right here, hotfix. That's what we put on in the desktop view. We um, drag the hotfix folder in there. You're going to click on that, and you'll have the, the files, the three files that we put in there. So what you're going to have to do is check each one using the check boxes on the side right here and check each one of those. After you have them checked, you're going to click on, let me try to focus in on it, um, it's the third icon, right here, third icon, and then it says prepare to copy, so it's, uh, you copied it, now you have to go paste it into the root folder, so in order to paste it into the root folder, you're going to have to go back and click on the second icon again, go into the root path, and then when it's in the root path, you're going to have to go into system again, go into LIB, and then you're going to have to um, paste it. See, if you click on this button right here, um, where is it? It's this um, third to last button, 
if you click on that it will paste it and once you have pasted it it will um, put the files into in, um, into this directory so once it, after it's into that directory you're gonna have to uh, do the following uh, I'm gonna go to my home screen and you're gonna have to load up your apps and go into where it says terminal emulator so as you see I've opened up the terminal emulator um, you probably can't see it well so I'll put text um, on the screen of what you're gonna have to type in and um, you're gonna have to type in the following alright so I'm in terminal the first thing you're gonna have to do is um, type in the letters SU so type in SU after you type it in it will be up there at the top it's kinda hard to see but it says SU and then you're gonna have to click the enter button right there RM space TAC F space slash system slash LIB slash modules then you're gonna click enter again and then you're gonna have to type in the following type in CP space dash F space slash SD card slash hotfix and then you're gonna press enter after you do that you're gonna have to type in HMOD 755 Oh, um, let me rephrase that. Um, there's a space between CHMOD and 755, just to let you know. So, CHMOD space 755 space slash system slash LIB slash modules. So, after you do that, you're going to press enter. And then, um, after you press enter, what you're going to have to do is reboot your phone. Now, um, if it didn't work for you, what you probably did wrong is maybe typed in one of the uh, strings wrong in the terminal, and you're going to have to type them in again. Um, the strings will be in the description if you want to look how to type them in correctly, um, you know, because it's kind of hard to see them when I'm, like, bringing the phone up close. But after you do that, if you restart your phone, and you go over to settings, let's see, right there and go over to your wireless networks and your Wi-Fi and you try to turn on your Wi-Fi it will say turning on it no longer says error and then it will connect to your Wi-Fi and then um, that's basically it that's how you fix the problem if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment um, down below um, if you had any problem with the video try to watch it again maybe you missed something if not you know ask questions or visit the XDA developers forum so thanks for watching um, please subscribe I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers it's my second HTC HD2 um, and Andy ROM video I'm trying to bring more out to you so if you want to see uh, more fixes and updates please subscribe to me and I will be uploading so thanks for watching this video and um, that's it